Hey there, it's Chad from Heroes and Legends. Today I got 12 packs of Magic Origins to open up. So this is the second part of three parts for a box with 12 packs each. Uh, so let's get started and see what we got here. Open up the first pack. Get this stuff out of the way. All right. Make sure we got this in focus. Yeah, very good. All right, so as normal, I will thumb through the commons and get to the uncommons and rares. Suppression bonds, very good limited card. All right, first uncommon is Brawler's Plate, Angel's Tomb, Undercity Troll. And our rare is a Kothafed Soul Hoarder. I spit that out. All right. <laughs> Not bad. Good limited card. I played a lot with him, and he can be a blowout, definitely. A lot of games in this format. If he can get to six mana, because this is one of the fastest limited formats I've ever played, <laughs> quite honestly. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. It's just super fast. White's a very good color to play. A lot of small creatures, a lot of aggro. White and red's good. White and green has done well for me. All right, first uncommon is Aurora's a champion. Citadel Castellian. Throwing knife and our rare is a Vern Wingmare. Very cool. All right, pack number three. Getting back into the groove. Haven't been opening a lot of packs lately. So kind of nice to be getting back to it. It's kind of the winter time. I mean, we'll have commander spoilers. I and mean, by the time you watch this, they may have already come up as far as the commander um, decks for the year. But other than that, there's really nothing happening for a while. Not until uh, Oath of the Gatewatch. So we got a little time. All right, Garapor, um, Aethergrid, Council's Tenant. Whoa, there we go. We saw a rare already. Uh, Blessed Spirits. <laughs> and a rare is Evolutionary Leap. Another really good card in Limited. And I think has potential for Constructed as well. Especially post-rotation. I guess we'll find out. I mean, at the time I'm filming this, the Pro Tour is a couple weeks away. Now the Battle for Zendikar has come out. So, by the time you watch this, you may know more than I do right now. But I do feel like Evolutionary Leap has a lot of potential. It's a very good card. It's all card advantage. Every time you're about to lose a creature, it's card advantage. So, I guess we'll see. All right, Prism Ring is our first uncommon. Consecrated by Blood. Malker Cutblade. And our rare is a Yavimaya Coast. And we got a Jace Emblem in there as well. Cool. So, I guess big pulls we're looking for. I mean, Jace is the big news right now. Um, <laughs> going for like 70, 80 bucks at this point at, at the recording. I mean, I, I know it will drop. I mean, that's very inflated. But still, might not drop for a few weeks till after the Pro Tour. Especially if it sees a lot of play at the Pro Tour even longer. But yeah, I mean, a lot of these packs were open too. So I don't know what that says exactly. I just hope it's not speculation. People just buying up Jace's trying to resell them. Because <laughs> that just means the market could have a bad crash at some point with that card. Murder Investigation, Fleshbag Marauder, Dwynan's Elite, and our rare is Gideon's Phalanx. Pretty cool rare too, another good limited card. So I will play limited with these. So pretty cool cards actually to play, to have in a limited pool that we've pulled so far. So we'll see how that turns out. So yeah, I don't like to just open packs and not do anything with them. That makes me crazy. So um, so when I open these packs, I do play limited with them. And I basically just take them and put them face down. And so I don't know. And I'll let the other person pick which six packs they want. <laughs> and then I'll just take what's left over. Uh, but I honestly don't really remember what's in them by the time I play with them. Um, Totem Guide Heart Feast. Possess Scab. Priest of uh, the Blood Rite. Oh, that's a rare. I missed a. Oh, yeah, I missed uh, Draga Invocation was our other uncommon. But Priest of the Blood Rite is a really cool card. Another good limited card that I wanted to kind of try out. All right, so we are halfway there. That was six packs, six to go. 
And like I said, this is part two of the three parts for this current booster box that I'm in. Uh, I still have another booster box of Magic Origins after this one. Um, so far we pulled, I think, two Mythics out of this one, but no, or do we, no, we pulled, uh, we did pull one Planeswalker because we pulled um, Chandra out of this box so far. I'd like to get some more Planeswalkers. Ravaging Blaze, Gold Forge Sentinel, Sentinel of Eternal Watch, which is an absolute beating and limited, <laughs> and Outlook Colossus, another good limited card. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, I haven't pulled many Planeswalkers. I've opened quite a few packs, and I think the first booster box I opened in my fat pack and some other random packs and got no Planeswalkers. A lot of, a lot of the um, Mythics, but just no Planeswalkers. And then I did pull Chandra last time out of this particular box that I'm opening right now. And I did get a Kytheon, but not on camera. It was in an event. So I've opened a lot of these and really don't feel like I've gotten many Planeswalkers, which is kind of sad. Uh, Sphinx's Tutelage, Meteorite, Valoran Wardens, and our rare is a Hangerback Walker. Hey, there you go. I'll stop complaining now about Planeswalkers. Awesome cards, seeing tons of play. Uh, just printed in the Battle for Zendikar um, event deck. So if you need a copy, or four, uh, pick that up and you'll be able to get one in, in the event deck or four copies of the event deck if you want four. Um, and we got a foil fetid imp as well. Okay, so that's a big pull. We had cards seen play in all sorts of constructed avenues. Um, modern, it's, it's seen play obviously in standard. Uh, I've seen it in legacy decks, I've seen it in vintage decks. So it's really making the rounds. People are trying to make it work in a lot of different places. Uh, it's a type of card that can do it with a low casting cost and uh, the fact that it's an artifact creature and also can be cast for zero, which is good for different combos. Uh, Psychic Rebuttal, Zendikar is Royal. Thopter Engineer, and our rare is a Scab Clan Berserker. All right, packs left, three more packs to go. For today, anyway. Plenty more Magic Origins to come. Uh, I got tons of product open. So now that it, it, it is the winter, and other than maybe the Commander spoilers, I should have more time to at least post some of these videos that I'm doing <laughs> right now. Um, opening all these packs and I'm just sitting on a bunch of videos so I'll be able to get those out to you guys maybe a little faster. Um, I have different other content that I like to put out on a regular basis so I've been kind of using these as fill-in but now I think should have more time. Brawler's Plate, Hydra Lash, Jesse and Thief, and our rare is a Herald of the Pantheon. Okay, two more to go. What a big pull. I mean, Hangerback Walker was a big pull. But we've gotten no Mythic so far out of this. Um, these 10 packs I've already opened, this pack 11. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna do a Mythic, right? Uh, I think I opened two Mythics in the first 12 packs, if I remember correctly. So this box isn't really doing so hot right now as it comes to Mythic count for us. All right, oops, flying again through the uncommons. We got a Sigil of Valor. Eye Blight Massacre, Sigled Starfish, and our rare is a Goblin Pile Driver. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's Pile Driver. It was supposed to do a lot of things, it didn't really do it. Um, so I don't know, it was a great card back in the day, but that was back when blue was much more powerful and goblins were cheaper, in some ways cheaper, they had more um, ways to kind of sneak more out into play. I don't know, I, you know, I don't know why I think it was just the protection from blue was a bigger deal in the old days more than anything. Um, and we had uh, Goblin Rebel Master in standard for a little while with it. Still didn't really work out. There were a couple decks that did okay with it in standard, but yeah, Pile Driver. Not to say that it won't someday find its niche, maybe a modern. Patron of the Valiant, Meteorite, Blessed Spirits, and our rare is a Amber Maw Hellion. So there you have it. There's no um, Mythics in those 12 packs and there was only one foil, I think. <laughs> so we did get a Hangerback Walker though, so that's pretty cool. I won't complain about that. Uh, so that the next uh, third of the box has got to be epic. So tune in for that. <laughs> it better be. Uh, so anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Have a good day. 
Hey, thanks as always for watching. This video, like all my videos, was made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Even a donation of a dollar helps me to keep growing this community and creating better quality videos for all of you. Check out our Patreon page for exclusive giveaways and future goals for the channel. If you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the MTG news, spoilers, set reviews, product openings, or finance videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a good day.